Hi, this is Brian Reese from Media Solutions here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm a graphic designer, photographer, and videographer. And today we're going to talk to you about how to bring about movement in a, in a, in a photograph. It's called cinematography. I think so. Cinematography. Creating a cinegraph. Cine, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and take a, take a peek. Let's go ahead and open up a file. Say new file. We want to go to... Actually, we don't want to do this yet. Yeah, yes, we do. Go ahead. Open it up. Let's go 1920 by 1080. And then hit create. Which opens up this panel. We go to my library. And while it's loading, we sit back and we wait. Shouldn't take but a couple of seconds. Hang a little more in a couple of seconds this time. Okay, go ahead. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and bring in this lady and her dog. Just go ahead and drag that in. And close the panel up. Let's go ahead and resize this. Open it up. Like this here. Filling up the whole space. Then go ahead and hit that check mark. What we want to do is we want to take her from the background, take her, her and the dog from the background. So what we want to do is this. Go up to, we want to select the entire, select the subject. So we'll select her and the dog. Okay. So it looks like we selected her and the dog. It's going to be kind of rough. It looks like it's pretty good. Not awesome. Not awful, but actually looks like it's pretty good. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, open up the layer. Make sure that we rasterize the layer. Do right click on it. Rasterize the layer. Click rasterize. But right now, it's actually converted to a smart object. We don't want a smart object at the moment. Let's go ahead and take that off of there. Now, we're going to do. We're going to go ahead. And hit Control J. Separate her from the background. Okay, now you see her and the dog separated from the background. What we're going to do now is we kind of need to set up the background and take this person out. I'm going to go ahead and create a a composite where the top image actually is the dominant one. Okay, because that's the one we want to move. So let's go ahead and turn that on. First, you click the bottom layer, the main layer, and then you right, actually control click the top layer, the cutout, okay? So what you're gonna do now is go over to Edit, Fill, and you wanna use Content Aware. Content Aware, everything else leave it like it is, don't touch anything else. Go ahead and click OK. And it's going to remove her from the background of the original image. Give it a couple of seconds. Hear my computer running in the background there. Okay. Now once we've done that, turn her off. See she's been removed from the background. Let's go ahead and select and deselect so that we can see the true outline of her and the dog. Okay, so let's go ahead and click that line again. So I like the way it is, doesn't look awful. Let's go ahead and get rid of some more of that. First we want to do, go ahead and hit we get not select, but we want not even quick select. We actually want the lasso tool. Go ahead and draw a line around her. You can probably get that a little better than that. It's not awful. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of that if we can. Including the shadow. Because the shadow's not going to grow. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit uh, Edit, Fill. Sorry. 
sure we had that list selected. Edit, fill, content order again. Okay, get rid of some more of that. Now you see the whole thing is gone. Okay, and it looks almost perfect. I like that. Okay, let's go ahead and um, deselect that again. Now that we have that there, let's go ahead and open up the layers again, layer panel. Let's go ahead and click on the top layer, turn it on. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to hit the, um, we want to open up a timeline. Okay, go to Windows, hit Timeline, and you want not frame animation. We actually want a video timeline. Go ahead and click change it to video timeline then click video timeline okay so what we want to do now is open up this panel here in the video timeline and it says position we don't want position we want transform so what we need to do now is go back and convert this top layer to a uh, we'll convert it to Convert to smart object. Then click smart object. Convert to smart object. Okay. And when you click this panel again, open this panel again. It says transform. We want her to grow. Her and the air and her dog to grow. Okay. See, we took out the shadows and everything because we want her to grow. And if she's going to grow, her shadow needs to grow too. So since her shadow needs to grow, uh, we took the shadow out. Yes. <laughs> We don't need her shadow not growing while she's growing. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. What I'm going to do first, let's go ahead and drag this up just a tad bit. Okay, now we start here at the beginning. So we're going to start at the beginning. And we'll go ahead and click the time, and click the clock there. Move it all the way to the end. So she's already selected. We'll go ahead and hit Control T. And that puts a uh, that gives you transform ability. Now you hold shift and you pull that line up and want her to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Try to drag it out because if you drag it out she gets fat. The women don't like that. They make her fat. Okay, now we we'll hit that. Hit the check mark. And we want to go ahead and click play and see how that looks. Kind of looks like she's running at you. Okay, with the doggy. All right, thank you very much. This is it for the day. I hope that you learned something from this. And uh, we're going to go ahead and save this. We're not done yet. It's a good idea to show you what to do next. Okay, go ahead and click stop. We want to save this as a video. We'll go ahead and click file. export render video file export render video click that and unless it shows up on the other page you'll be able to see it in a minute okay now this is it here now you can go ahead and give it a title a proper title I'll just call it woman and dog Yes, I can spell it this morning. Good. Uh, woman and dog running. Cool. Okay, now you want to find out where you want it to go. I don't want it to go there. I'm just going to put it in my music. Give it a name. Yes, because I don't have a lot of music. So, let's see. Let's go. Let's go uh, training. Call the training. Then click that there. Click training. Go ahead, select folder. And this file, once you hit render, then it'll go ahead and send it. See how it looks as a video. Now it has converted it to a video, saved it as a video. And now we're going to go ahead and open it. in my training folder okay here it is right
right here. There we go. Now it's a video. Woman and dog running. <laughs> Hope that you enjoyed this uh, and got something out of it. This is Brian Reese from Video Solutions. Videographer, graphic designer, photographer. Have a great day. Thank you. There will be more.